What is the purpose of a DNS server in networking? Choose two. Is it A, translating domain names to IP addresses? Is it B, managing firewall settings? Is it C, encrypting data transmission? Or is it D, monitoring network traffic? You now have five seconds. And the correct answers are A and B. Transmitting domain names to IP addresses and managing firewall settings. A DNS server translates user-friendly domain names into IP addresses and DNS servers may also manage firewall settings for network security. Think of DNS servers as the phone books of the internet. And for the incorrect answers, encryption is not the primary role of DNS and DNS doesn't directly monitor traffic. And for the next question of our exam, question number two. And the question states, what printer issue might cause faded or incomplete prints? Choose two. Is it A, outdated printer driver? Is it B, low paper tray levels? Is it C, worn out torn cartridge? Or is it D, network connectivity? You now have five seconds. And the correct answers are A and C. Outdated printer driver and worn out toner cartridge. Outdated drivers and worn toner can lead to print quality issues. Think of outdated drivers like are using an old map to navigate. And for the incorrect answers, low paper levels affect quantity, not quality, and connectivity doesn't affect print quality. And for the next question of our exam, question number three. And the question states, which mobile device technology allows contactless payments? Choose two. Is it A, Bluetooth? Is it B, NFC? Is it C, GPS? Or is it D, Wi-Fi? You now have five seconds. And the correct answers are B and D, NFC and Wi-Fi. NFC and Wi-Fi can enable contactless payments on mobile devices. Imagine using NFC like tapping a card for payment. And for the incorrect answers, Bluetooth doesn't directly facilitate payments and GPS is for location trafficking, not for uh, payments. And for the next question of our exam, question number four. And the question states, which hardware component is responsible for processing instructions and performing calculations? Choose three. Is it A, PSU? Is it B, CPU? Is it C, GPU? Or is it D, RAM? You now have five seconds. And the correct answers are B, C, and D. CPU, GPU, and RAM. The CPU, GPU, and RAM handle processing and calculations. Think of CPU as the brain and GPU as a specialized processor. And for the incorrect answers, PSU is the power supply unit unrelated to processing. And for the next question of our exam, question number five. And the question states, what is the benefit of cloud storage for businesses? Choose two. Is it A, lower network latency? Is it B, reduced security concerns? Is it C, decreased storage capacity? Or is it D, increased physical hardware? You now have five seconds. And the correct answers are A and B, lower network latency and reduced security concerns. Cloud storage offers lower latency and can enhance security. Think of cloud storage as a remote warehouse for data. And for the incorrect answers, cloud storage generally offers increased capacity when referring to decreased storage capacity and cloud reduces hardware needs when referring to increased physical hardware. And for the next question of our exam, question number six. And the question states, what virtualization technology enables running multiple operating system on a single host system? Choose one. Is it A, firewall? Is it B, VPN? Is it C, hypervisor? Or is it D, router? You're now five seconds. And the correct answer is C, hypervisor. A hypervisor enables multiple operating systems on a single host. Imagine how a hypervisor like building with a multiple apartments. And for the incorrect answers, firewall is for network security, not virtualization. VPN is a secured network connection unrelated to virtualization and router directs traffic unrelated to virtualization. And for the next question of our exam, question number seven. And the question states, what operational procedure helps protect data from hardware failures by copying it to another location? Choose two. Is it A, disk cleanup? Is it B, disk defragmentation? Is it C, data backup? Or is it D, device encryption? You now have five seconds. And the correct answers are C and D, data backup and device encryption. Data backup and device encryption protects against hardware failures. Think of data backup as creating a safety net for your data. And for the incorrect answers, cleanup frees space, not protection, and defragmentation optimizes storage, not backup.
And for the next question of our exam, question number eight. And the question states, what networking device connects multiple computers within a local area network? Choose one. Is it A, router? Is it B, modem? Is it C, switch? Or is it D, bridge? And now five seconds. And the correct answer is C, a switch. A switch connects devices within a local network. Think of a switch as a traffic director within a neighborhood. And for the correct answers, Rotor connects networks, not just local devices. Modem connects to the internet and Bridge connects networks, not local devices. And for the next question of our exam, question number nine. And the question states, what operational procedure can help improve computer performance by removing unnecessary files? Choose one. Is it A, installing additional RAM? Is it B, updating the BIOS? Is it C, defragmentation? Or is it D, creating a system restore point? In our five seconds. And the correct answer is C, defragmentation. Defragmentation reorganizes storage for better performance. Think of defragmentation as tidying up your storage space. And for the incorrect answers, RAM affects performance differently, BIOS updates fix issues but don't boost performance, and restore points are for recovery, not for performance. And for the last question of our exam, question number 10. And the question states, what is the primary purpose of a firewall in network security? Choose two. Is it A, encrypting data traffic? Is it B, preventing unauthorized access? Is it C, allocating IP addresses? Or is it D, scanning for viruses? You now have five seconds. And the correct answers are B and D, preventing unauthorized access and scanning for viruses. Firewall blocks unauthorized access and scan for threats. Imagine a firewall like a security guard controlling who enters a building. And for the incorrect answers, encryption is not a primary firewall function and IP allocation is not a firewall task. If there's one piece of advice that I would dare to offer you is that you keep your composure and try and focus on the exam questions and what is being asked of you. CompTIA doesn't formulate vague or trick questions, so as long as you dedicate at least half an hour a day to study, whether it's from books, videos, or practice exams, I'm 100% convinced that you'll pass your exam. It very much uh, depends on your personal preference. Some people might find it easier to learn what's watching videos. Some people might find it easier to learn from reading books, etc. The CompTIA exams are not difficult. It's only difficult only if you decide to make them difficult by putting nonsense into your head like I'm not smart enough or I can't do this or I don't have enough time etc. Realize that whenever you're telling yourself things like that you're doing yourself a disservice by demoralizing yourself and when referring to exams that's obviously a bad idea. If you put a bit of effort into practice exams and reading a book or watching a video even for 20 or 30 minutes a day it's impossible not to progress. I run the risk of repeating myself, but the most important thing on your exam day, and I cannot stress that enough, is to take your time and read the questions carefully. Make sure you understand what is being asked of you, and in order to do that, you have to be familiar with the CompTIA exam objectives. Okay, I think I ranted enough for today. Ladies and gents, this is the end of our exam. If and only if you found this video informative, make sure to drop a sub and share it with your friends. Thank you for watching this video, and I will see you guys next time. Peace!